Greetings, dearly beloved, in the Holy Bible, in the book of Proverbs, in chapter 22 and verse 6, it reads, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I love the wonderful Holy Bible. It also tells us how to train up a child. It is good to take our children or our child to church with us once two maybe three times a week depending on how many services your church holds um, and how many you are able to attend it's good to help them participate in the ministry to help them maybe sing in the choir or maybe read a scripture or even say a prayer and it's good to have gospel music playing in the car when you're driving to church and driving back or even at home but it's much more than that in the holy bible in the book of deuteronomy in chapter 6 and verse 17 it says sorry it's not 17 oh i don't know where it is it is sorry um verse 7 it says and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up praise god so we should always daily be talking to our children about our wonderful kind amazing father in heaven and our wonderful kind amazing um king of kings and lord of lords the the son of god when we rise up in the morning we should have prayer time with them and we should study the holy bible even if we've only got five minutes it's really important to have devotion in the morning um in the that's when it says when thou risest up it also says when thou layest down so when they go to bed it's really important to pray with them and again to study god's holy word even if you only have five minutes to study god's holy word with them and tell them tell them about our wonderful good kind father and our special precious loving savior it also says when thou sittest in thy house so when thou sittest down you can talk about god as well there's so many ungodly things that um are available to talk about but we want to talk about god praise god we want to talk about god and his son and we want to continually be um feeding them with the word of god praise god bring god into your lives every single day so this could be just when you're sitting down um having a meal together or just when you're sitting down just having family time together praise god um and it says when thou walkest by the way so when you're walking to the supermarket or it could be driving to the supermarket when you are um going to um, church coming back from church going to visit family going to visit friends just going out on an outing maybe you're going to the park or you're going rowing or you're going um, bowling or you're going out to eat praise God you um, hear it saying that we should talk about God we should talk about not just about God but it says teach them diligently thou shalt teach them diligently and what it's talking about here is the commandments that he has given so we want to talk about God and the son of God but we want to be reminding them what is right and what is wrong and we see his holy commandments in Exodus the book of um the book of Exodus chapter 20 we can see it in verse 3 to 17 and also in Acts and the book of I'm sorry the book of Acts and chapter 21 I believe and verse 21 it also there highlights what um, we should and shouldn't be doing oh well, I guess more so highlighting what we should be doing um, oh it isn't 21 21 it's 21 sorry verse 25 so the book of Acts chapter 21 and verse 25 and tells us about 
um, that we should keep from things offered to idols so from meats offered to um, idols which is why um, I don't eat halal meat anymore and we should not have things that um, we should abstain from things that have uh, blood which is why now sorry there's a car going by I got the window open because it's such beautiful weather which I'm completely not complaining about I love 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 warm weather um blood which is why now i only have kosher meats and from things strangled because when it was strangled the the throat wasn't slit so the blood wasn't able to drain out and from fornication um, we should abstain from um doing things that create babies unless it's uh with our spouse praise god and these are the things that we want to teach children and sadly we have to teach them from a younger age because if not the world will teach them how to do it the wrong way um and if they go into school sadly which i'm a strong advocate for homeschooling um if they are going to school they're going to be taught all different forms of wrong types of ways of being intimate and so we definitely want to be teaching our children what is right and i love that word diligently it doesn't say it doesn't just say teach them it says diligently and that word diligently is from the hebrew word shanan which means to sharpen to be pierced and strong's definition says to point intensively to pierce teach diligently and so we should keep on doing it we should allow it to pierce hallelujah the the, the sin because children are born with sin and we want to um we want it to come far we want it to come out of them praise god um they don't have to be taught how to do wrong we have to teach them how to do right and it says intensively when I think about athletes training, they train intensively. And if they don't, they will lose. They will lose the race or they won't even make it to the finals. And they won't make it to that big um, race that takes place, the Olympics, once every four years. But we have a much better race to run with, a much better crown to obtain, an incorruptible crown. Because they do it for a corruptible crown, but we for an incorruptible. And so please teach your children um, the commandments of God about God and about the Son of God every morning every evening every day when you're sitting down and every day when you're walking because then you will be training up your child in the way that he should go or she should go and when they are older they will not depart from it praise God <laughs>